Hiyo, Cryo here. Welcome back to Terraria. On today's episode, I'm gonna just start out by fighting the Destroyer because that's the worst that could happen. A lot is the worst that could happen. Uh, drink my buffs. We got all that. Do we have the. Okay, yeah, we do. That. That. And here we go. We don't want to get hit. We do not want to get hit by the head. Is the thing. Avoid the head and destroy the probes. That's the main protocol. I can't even see where the head is at. It's a bit of an issue. Okay, yeah, as long as we stay up here, I think we should be alright. Just gonna fly back and forth. Is there a bouncy bounce? There's the head. And luckily our Queen Slime Mount allows us to kind of bounce about. Uh, yeah, these probes are a bit annoying. That's manageable. Okay, there goes the head. The head is going down to the right. Come back to the left. I yeah, guess if we get hit by that head, it does like I think it one-shots us. Or two like Well because we'll have like residual damage on us, it's probably gonna one-shot us. These werewolves are not making it easy though. Not lose track of that head. <laughs> if we do, that could be make a spell trouble for us. Make a spell T R O U B L E. Okay, switch to our Ivy Whip, get some melee speed. Oh no. Come on. Yes! Oh yes, we did it. Okay, that seemed easier than the even slime. Huh. Well. We got the trophy first <laughs> first try. Oh, and now we can finally get the steam bunker. Yeah. Let's open that up. We got 32 hollowed bars. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drill quickly. So yeah, we should yeah, we have plenty of time. We should have plenty of time. Uh I'm going to craft the whip because I don't have enough to make the armor. Here we are. This is basically like a way better version of the Snapthorn. So I don't even need I don't need these two whips, I could just use the one. It's a stronger version. And I'm also gonna need to reforge this though. There you go. Ooh. Oh yeah, I love this whip. All of the whip upgrade is amazing. What is this? What is this? What is this a whip? Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho If I had this when I was fighting the Queen, well, I, I guess the Queen slime comes before the Destroyer, but still, what? What? Oh my. I mean, I don't want to get too cocky here. Minus a lot of damage here. I need to stay on the move. Stay on the move, cryo. That's right. Why am I talking to myself in the third person? I don't know. And why don't I have a heart reach potions? I should. Sorry, it's very loud. Um, I should get some. Oh, I'm getting a lot of damage done to me. I need to get these hearts. I need to get them. Give me, give me, give me. There we go. Imagine this once I get the uh, hollowed armor. There we go. So I took out the destroyer one more time, and I managed to get myself the hollowed armor. And the uh, the dodge ability that it gives, the I guess the set bonus, 
very helpful. It used to belong to the titanium armor, but now it's on the hollowed armor. Which is great, because titanium doesn't even have a summon uh, mask anyways, so... I mean, yeah, this works. So I get four, or no, three extra minions from the armor, one extra from my pygmy necklace, and the one base. So I have five total minions to aid me, and I switched over to the sanguine bats, uh, just because they're generally stronger uh, for the other enemies that I'm fighting. I pretty much just use them for the destroyer because they work best against it. Sanguine bats also work well. Um, I- oh, wait, where'd they go? Okay. So, as you can see, I explored a whole lot, and I cleared out most of corruption. Obviously, I'm not perfect, and I'm not going to be able to get every single piece of it. There's probably like one or two blocks straggling around that will eventually spread, like over here, for example. You can see I must have missed a spot, and then that started to spread a little bit. Actually, I can probably head back down there and clear those out. But I want to save, like, um, this area over here. Also, I want to show you my method of clearing the corruption. So, I have uh, Iron Skin, Regen, Well Fed, and Mining and Shine potions. And then the Witching Table for one extra minion, because it never hurts. And basically, this way I can kind of see like the hidden uh, corruption blocks might be below the surface. And then the shine potion, so I don't have to spam torches everywhere. And yeah, it's a long process, but definitely worth it. Even if I don't 100% clear out the, the crimson or corruption or whatever, I'll at least, you know, have a a good hold on it. It'll be slowed down to a point where I'll, I'll like notice where more corruption pops up. Like even if it's just like, like yeah I'll leave behind a tiny bit, but I'll be able to tell where that is because everything else will be not in corruption. I am collecting myself some life fruits. There I got one. Uh, when I was purifying the crimson, I turn the mushroom biomes into... they turn into jungle biomes when you purify them. And that is very good. This means that more life fruits for us. We need 20 of them, and we'll get up to 500 health. Get 5, or 5 health or 5 HP for life fruit. And there are 20 of these, so that's 100 HP total. And that'll help us when we fight the other mechanical bosses and Plantera. Well, hello, Mimic. You thought that you could hurt me, but you cannot hurt me. But I should totally, uh... Let me just... Show you this 30 gold I just got from the minion. I mean, Mimic. Why? Why do I keep on calling it a minion? It is a Mimic. Ooh, a life root. Okay, so instead of actually taking on the mechanical bosses first, I'm gonna take on the pirate invasion. Probably should have done this before I even fought the destroyer, but yeah. Uh, I'm aiming for a mount dropped by Blind Dutchman boss, or mini boss, uh, which allows infinite flight. Uh, I can ram into enemies dealing summon damage, which is another plus. Alright, I suppose I have to wait for him to actually arrive, too. Here come the pirates. Carrots, we got a whole shabab dude. Yeah, they do drop like golden furniture, which is pretty cool. Oh, wait, I see, I, I see cannonballs, but from where? And we really need to take care of this captain because he's he's a tanky boy. What the? What is, is that from the Dutchman? What is that? Um, well, I don't see a health bar or the Dutchman anywhere. Who could he be? Okay. So yeah, I think I'll just stay up here. 
It's nice and safe. We're at 70% fear rate. What's here? Is he just on the other side of the map or something? Yeah, let me go check. Let me just, uh... Make my way over here. Wait, where... What, where is he? Because the set is technically coming from, like, the west or whatever. You wouldn't think that... Here we go, whoa, there we go, okay. Well, he made himself known. I'm expecting him to be slightly smaller for some reason. Alright, we just gotta take care of these cannons. Oh no, oh no, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wow! Wow, that's a lot of... Damage. I mean, there's. <laughs> oh. Dutchman just split, that's cool, so I can't even continue from where I died. Isn't that just lovely? Well, I did get a pretty cool looking grave though. That's a bonus. Okay, we have another chance here. Have another chance. Why are you so low? You're a pirate you're a flying pirate ship. Why are you on the ground area? I think our main concern last time was just the plentiful pirates that were attacking. And yeah, especially these pirate deckhands are doing so much damage. More than they should be. It's almost as if this is the hardest difficulty of the area. Here. Oh, we did it. We've done it. Where is Wait, did he literally just drop the relic? What? Hold on a second, did he just... Is that all he dropped? That well, looks like it. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, hello there. I thought I'd just show you my, uh... Little soul farm. It's not... Super efficient, but it works. Uh, so I've got... Water candle. My battle potion. Equipped. And we are in the dungeon right now, the cavern lair. And we've got, I think it's like 300 crimson blocks there. And... I'm not sure if there's a glitch or what this is, but sometimes I need to... toggle and re-toggle this for souls of night to start showing up again. And if I move too far away from the crimson, it also... sometimes doesn't register. Let's see if we can get a single soul to drop. There's typically more enemy- oh, there we go. Here's a soul. Yeah, sometimes it works faster, sometimes it works slower, it really depends. 
on RNG. Uh, but yes, so on the next episode I will be taking on Skullstrom Prime and the twins. We're trying to get all the drops from all the mechanical bosses. I'll try to find uh, some more gelatin crystals, get all the drops from the Queen Slime. I also need, still need to get the trophy from the... Actually, I just need the trophy from Queen Slime and Wallflash. Uh, the Destroyer, I need two masks. One for the mannequin, one for my vanity. And then Skeletron Prime and the twins, I will farm them to get all their drops. All that and more on the next episode. So until next time, remember to stay cool and I will see you guys in the next video.